the seminar is uh, really an opportunity for educational repository owners from across Europe to meet other colleagues working on similar issues and similar platforms and to hear about best practices, problems that they have, solutions that they've worked out that are really relevant for them uh, uh, in their work uh, providing uh, learning resources to students at the K through 12 level. Klassement is part of this network uh, because of the reason that we yeah, find inspiration uh, from other educational repositories. So it's, it's a network of educational repositories, so everybody is doing, uh, is working with, with educational resources, uh, trying to share them amongst teachers in, those co in the countries where they are working. Um, but you see that everybody has another approach or, or trying to do something on, in another way and, and that makes it uh, really inspirational. Uh, these seminars are free. Um, anyone who's interested in the topics can attend. We really want people to also participate and contribute. So it's not just about attending to listen to a series of lectures, but uh, to stimulate discussion and to hear about what people are doing across Europe. I think it's really, really important to meet colleagues who are working on similar projects. Uh, we often, and I suppose very, very easily, operate within a silo. We operate in our own portal, our own repository, back in our own country. In theory, we can always, of course, look at the other sites and the other portals online and see what they're doing. But you do not get the, the feeling as to what they really are making changes to until you meet them face to face. And that's why coming together like this is an invaluable opportunity to meet other colleagues face to face and see what changes are taking place. There's a big uh, upswing in interest in open educational resources now. So we see a lot of repositories coming um, into these networking opportunities that with new projects and ideas uh, on the open education sharing sphere. Uh, sometimes it you know, goes up and down, but this is, there's a big upswing in that and a lot of interest in that and a lot of projects out there that need uh, some expertise and uh, this knowledge sharing opportunity is very valuable for them. I have discovered nothing but new ideas and that's what I came for in the first place because I thought I would uh, find experts hands-on uh, expertise and uh, I've not uh, been disappointed. We live in a learning society, so if you don't want to learn from one another, uh, well, you don't get very far, do you? So uh, you need cooperation with others, you need collaboration to improve yourself. I also think it's extremely important that we get standards uh, within the open education uh, society so that we don't sort of mess around in our own corners, but actually can harness our power into sort of more common tools uh, because it's when we stand together that we get the power. With all of us we know how quickly departments for education and ministries for education can change and shift curriculums so we need to kind of stay on our feet and adapting constantly otherwise we're going to fall behind and teachers aren't going to use us anymore because our content is outdated and unreliable so we need to keep thinking forward.